and the traffic is awful. It's like we have the population of a large town, but we have the traffic set up of a medium-sized town. So there is so much stop and go, and I hate it. The, sh the Christmas shopping season is the absolute worst, and so I've told Jackie before, if I can have enough, my, my pantry and my freezer built up enough where I can just do all of my shopping online and not have to go into town for anything, I will be a happy camper. What makes your garden grow water and sunshine? What makes your spirit grow knowing that should be mine? Hey guys, it's Jack from Freedom Homestead. And on this video, I'm just doing a little cold weather, fall, winter preparation around our homestead. Um, last night was our first frost. And that got me to thinking, I better start checking everything, getting it ready for the colder weather uh, as the seasons change. So I've put a chain on the chainsaw, a brand new chain. Um, I've got uh, firewood. Uh, making sure that I've got plenty of firewood for this winter, but also have a whole bunch stacked up ready to split. Um, that's going to last us probably the next uh, couple of winters, actually, which is really good. Um, I've checked our generator, made sure that it starts good, runs well, has plenty of gas and oil, made sure all that's good to go. Um, a few other things that, uh, you know, if, if you're thinking about the same thing that I'm thinking about, um, other things that we need to get ready. Um, I made sure that we also have plenty of the little propane bottles. Um, we have some propane heaters as emergency backup heaters, but we also have um, uh, propane camp stoves. And uh, if, if the power went out, we'd be able to cook. Um, so we could just throw some food on the camp stove, heat it up. We would still be able to heat up meals and boil water, anything like that. That's always good. Also with, uh, next to the, one of the propane stoves is our, uh, chimney sweep device. So we do have a wood burning stove. And so, um, I will be getting uh, that out and cleaning our stove pipe uh very shortly to make sure that it's all clean you know you don't want a house fire or anything like that so I'll always do that right before uh, we know we're going to start using it in the next few weeks to a month or so also pine shavings going to put some more pine shavings in the chicken coop make sure they have plenty of bedding for when the weather starts getting cold for them coming outside um well vehicles um, I guess this is, this is something that, you know, I'll check all the garage stuff, cars, outside area. Um, Tangie's probably getting uh, the, the raised beds cleaned out. And then she's working inside with pantry items and food and canning and stuff like that. But, you know, it's a good time to always just check your vehicles too. The tire pressure, make sure everything's aired up good. Check the spare, first aid kit, anything that you might need if you're out and about breakdown maybe an extra blanket sweater something like that a couple bottles of water in the car got to make sure these gutters are all cleaned out clean out the gutters 
before the cold weather starts freezing stuff. You don't want, uh, you know, leaf. look at these trees. We've got a lot of trees back here. That all gets into our gutters. We have to make sure they're cleaned out um, because we don't want them to be clogged and holding water and not draining. And then it freezes and then you got ice kind of trying to work on your gutters and, and weight those down and possibly bust them out. So you gotta make sure that those are ready to go for cold weather as well. I've also purchased some of these faucet covers to go over our outside spigots here. So I'm gonna get these ready and, and be putting those on soon. It does get cold enough here for our lines to freeze. So we just wanna make sure that those are covered up for the winter when, not, when we're not using any outdoor water anyway for a couple of months. And as I was out here talking about stuff to do for winter, Tangy just reminded me, hey, these little vents down here too, make sure they're closed up for the winter. Um, I don't think it's, I don't think we're over with the warm weather just yet. In fact, um, this is a cold snap we've got. You know, I'm wearing my sweatshirt probably for the first time uh, since last winter, but um, it's supposed to get back up in the 70s. And it may reach 80 again in, in five or six days here, and then it's gonna drop again. So we're in that little roller coaster type weather that we'll have in the, in the Kentucky area where we're at. Um, but if you are in uh, areas where it gets a lot colder than here, um, you know, some of the houses will have these vents around the uh, foundation, make sure they're closed for the winter. That is a good thing. Thank you, honey, for reminding me that. Chickens, also, I said I'm putting more bedding in there. I've got to fix a hinge on the door that broke a couple days ago. Um, we've got a uh, rain barrel here that collects all the water from our gutter off our garage. And so that's been supplying all the water for our chickens the entire year. We haven't had to use any water uh, at all except just natural rain water. So I'm loving that. And uh, you know, if worse comes to worse, we also have a, a secondary water supply and we also have water filters that we could use if our water ever went out. And when it's time to put that mower up for the winter, uh, here anyway, uh, not gonna be using it for, for several months. Um, it's always good to, if, if you got fuel in it, it's good to either start it up every once in a while and let it run a little bit, but I also put this fuel stabilizer. So you might wanna use some of that to put in there so the fuel don't go sour or anything like that. So coming inside, these are great for any time of the year, but I know that when the weather's starting to get bad and colder and you might have some snow or something that's gonna make the power go out, I love these, these portable power banks. I've made sure that they were charged up. Let me check it real quick, just to show you. Yep, it's at 99%. Now this big one, I love it. It's it's heavy, so it's it's uh, it weighs quite a bit, but it will power coffee makers, little appliances in your kitchen. It will uh, power uh, little heaters or fans. This little one I think is so awesome. Not only will they charge laptops and cell phones and stuff like that, but this little one is great for putting in your vehicle if you're going to take a trip or anything like that. I've used it to blow up air mattresses and fans when we're camping and stuff like that. Uh, I just, I've never really been in an emergency situation, thank God, but it's nice to know that you can have power that's portable, uh, even in your vehicle or anything like that, especially in the house. This large one could power our sump pump. Now we have our big generator that will power the sump pumps, the deep freezer, the refrigerators, but these will help us with uh, at night if we needed to plug up lamps and lights and anything like that. So I love these little things, they're great. I know a lot of people also have the little tiny power banks that are handheld just to charge their phone for two or three times. Anything like that is always handy to have, but make sure they're charged up. They're kind of useless if they're dead. Also, now that I'm inside, let me bring you in here and let Tangie talk about some uh, other things that maybe I forgot or maybe that she's thinking of doing for the winter. 
Well, my main focus is always making sure everybody's fed. <laughs> And so, um, I like that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. it's very much appreciated. I, by I the like eating. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Every day, actually, I like eating. <laughs> big fan. Big fan. Um, so yeah. So, uh, right now it's Stocktober. And, uh, so we're, we're focusing on making sure that our pantry is, uh, nice and full. And, um, right now we're kind of not rebuilding it, but, uh, now that we know we have somebody in the house with a food allergy, we're kind of doing approaching things a little bit differently just making sure that we have uh you know proteins that are mammal free and that kind of stuff um but i was telling jack earlier that i want to make sure that i have plenty of like soups and things like that uh canned so that way if the power does go out we have a wonderful wood stove that we love so much and it would be easier to just pop a few lids and dump it in a pot and heat it up than having to like you know, chop stuff and braise meat and all that other kind of stuff. So, so that's just something I've been thinking about. Uh, I've got some really great canning cookbooks that I can recommend. I can put them down below. I also have several videos on uh, canning soups. Uh, tomato soup is one that I absolutely will be doing very soon. I already have a video. It's called Quick and Easy Tomato Soup, and we can share the link down below. It's literally seasoning water and tomato paste and it's very very good last time i made it like the family went through it pretty quick so uh and, you know i was showing them the propane and saying you know we can heat up food on on our little propane camp stoves mm -hmm. i didn't even think of using our wood stove yeah, oh, yeah but yeah. yeah we haven't had to do that yet but right and i mean you know uh, any heating source but i feel like i mean if we're going to be using the wood stove anyway <laughs> you know that would be good but um so yeah, it's that's, so that's what's pretty much been on my mind. And then of course, making sure that our medicine cabinet is ready for cold and flu season. Um, also thinking about, you know, we've had some really nice nasty ice storms where it'd be really hard to leave the house and wanna make sure that if there's a, an emergency, of, you know, like if somebody gets hurt or if we're really, really sick that we can buy some time before we can get medical help or emergency help. So, yeah, just stuff like that. Mm -hmm. What you cooking? Uh, we're having tacos tonight. Uh, first time I ever made it with uh, ground chicken, but, you know. Ground chicken. Yeah, but, you know, it would have to be a mammal-free family now. So. Yeah, if you haven't heard, our son was diagnosed with alpha-gal. Yeah. So, we're, we're dealing with that right now. Yeah, it's weird, like, I mean, you know, we I've always been a label reader anyway, but now having to learn what we can and can't have. And we haven't got to where uh, we started incorporating things yet for him to see what his triggers are. So we're still just being really careful mm -hmm. until we know more. But yeah, it's a big, it's a big life change, but something that I'm, a video I might be doing in the near future um, because yogurt is something that he really likes, but it's made with dairy. Um, I have found a recipe on how to make yogurt using coconut milk. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna try it because it's expensive and so if I, if I, I'm going to do it first to see if it works and if it does work, then I will show y'all how to do it. Another prepping tool is we have a couple epi pins in the house now. Oh yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, the allergist said that that does not need to be far from him at any given time. So it's, it's just really weird. Like the, the allergy is weird. It's complex. Um, everybody that has it reacts differently to different things and the same person can have a burger today and then tomorrow it can put them in the hospital. Like it's just, it's just really weird. Yeah. So we're just, we're just learning and trying to be careful while we can. Can y'all hear that? That's our little maid <laughs> helping out. She's my friend. What? She's my friend. Yeah. She helps me with the house. Now that Emily has a full time job, yeah, well, I don't get very much help. Anymore. She's going to trip you too. You're going to step on that. Nah. Yeah. Or I'm going to step on it filming you. Uh, but I can send her back to the dock right now. Okay. Yeah. Because I think she, she pretty much did everything else except the kitchen floor. So okay. Send it back to the dock. Bye, Nasal. All right. Okay. So something else we were talking about, too, is like, you know, before winter comes, 
I don't know, sometimes it's things that you don't really think about until, like, you put on your monk boots, and you're like, oh, darn, I've got a hole, you know, in the sole of these monk boots, I'm meant to buy a new pair. You know, just kind of doing a simple check of your gear. Um, work your gloves. Work gloves, mm -hmm. making sure you, everybody's coats still fit. Like, if you have kids, you want to make sure their coats still fit. I mean, most everybody thinks of that stuff, but I think sometimes it can sneak up on us. But when I was stacking wood the other day, the pair of leather gloves that I was using, um, they were both getting holes in them and mm -hmm. the fingers were showing through and I was like, I got to get new work gloves and I hadn't thought about it since. Yeah. So, yeah, that's a reminder. Yeah. And, um, but yeah. And then like just knowing where everything is, like if you, I mean, we, we always have good intentions of putting things where they belong. Um, but that doesn't happen every time. And so if you have an emergency, you want to know where your supplies are. Like we were looking for the first aid kit the other day. Couldn't mm -hmm. find it. Could not. It was not where it was supposed to be. And so, um, you know, especially if, if it's freezing cold, the power's out. Some, let's say somebody's out chopping wood and they, you know, hit their hand or something. You want to know right away where your first aid kit is. So I think that would be. We Important. took our first aid kit downstairs in the summer yeah. when it was storming, we and we hadn't brought it back up and put it in our regular place where yeah. we thought we had it. Yeah, so we had, it was actually a tornado, we were under a tornado warning, so I grabbed the first aid kit and took it downstairs, so I was the one that moved it. <laughs> um, but then I was trying to find it, I'm like, it's supposed to be right here, where is it? <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Um, and during the holidays, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, that was another thing. The town that we live in, or the one that we do most of our shopping in, is a pretty big town. And the traffic is awful. It's like we have the population of a large town, but we have the traffic set up of a medium-sized town. So there is so much stop and go. And I hate it. The sh the Christmas shopping season is the absolute worst. And so I've told Jackie before, if I can have enough, my, my pantry and my freezer built up enough where I can just do all of my shopping online and not have to go into town for anything, I would be a happy camper. And I think there was actually a year or two where we did do that. Like we maybe just had to run to the closest Dollar General, which if you live in the South, there's one every six miles. But, um, you know, we could just go pick up you know, a few things here and there, but other than that, we just ate out of the pantry mostly. So, um, anyway, so that's definitely something else too. You're going to use this tonight? Yeah. Um, I'm going to try to make tortillas again. I mean, I can make flour tortillas, no problem, but I'm going to try to make corn tortillas. And the last couple of times that I've done it, they just fall apart. But, um, a friend of mine, she is from Mexico and I was telling her about my issue, and she said, "You're not kneading the dough long enough." So hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna try again. I'm not. I ain't quitting you. <laughs> I'm gonna keep trying until I get it right. Cause I love corn tortillas are my favorite. I love them, and uh, it's just flour. Just the proteins make the tortillas hold together better, so they're easier to make. But corn is a little little trickier. Okay, so I think that is all that uh, we can think of right now to show you just for kind of preparing for the cold weather season that's approaching our area. Mm -hmm. Maybe you live in an area that don't have a cold season. That's awesome, but <laughs> um, but I do like fall. Yeah, you. <laughs> fall is my favorite time of the year. It reminds me of going out and hiking through the woods and going camping and would you say it's been a year? Mm -hmm. It's been a year since we've been camping. We gotta yeah. go camping again. Yeah, we do. But uh, I love fall. Um, but yeah, we just want to make sure that everything's ready and good to go yeah. for yeah. winter. Yeah, it's my absolute favorite time of year. The only thing I don't like about fall is that it gets dark so early. I don't fall, like that. Fall and winter. Yeah, yeah, to me, it's it's just I have to have sunshine or it it, it wears on me yeah. mentally. <laughs> and it doesn't bother me. To not have sunshine, <laughs> yeah. I work in a cave, but I don't like, you know, it's, yeah, not well, too much daylight. Yeah, I mean, we've he said in the in the past years, you know, when he leaves the house for work, it's dark. When he comes home, it's, it's dark. dark. And then when he's at work, it's dark. <laughs> I'm in the dark. <laughs> yeah, the so I like coming home and having a couple of hours of daylight to, mm -hmm. to do stuff. 
So it's good to do the stuff now mm -hmm. that we know we will be doing in the winter right. and have it all ready. Right. Uh, so that's another thing to think about. Mm -hmm. But uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you're new to our channel, like and subscribe, put in the comments down below other things that you can think of that maybe we haven't kind of shared with you in this video or anything like that. Yeah. But, um, you know, we just want to share what we do and, and learn as we go. Yep. Yeah. And we're, we're going to try to have more videos coming out for y'all soon. Um, just mm -hmm. trying to kind of get our bearings, um, uh, a little bit. We've been, we've been out of practice and we've had a lot going on, but we do have a lot of things that we want to share with y'all. So just be patient. We're getting them. We're getting them to you. But until next time, guys, remember to be vigilant, be prayerful, be prepared. God bless you. God bless your homes. Mm -hmm. And we'll catch y'all in the next one. See you guys. Bye. Makes your garden grow water and sunshine. Makes your spirit grow knowing that